Uh, mayong hapon sa tanan. Good morning, uh, good afternoon. Uh, para sa kuha na to, before ta mag-start no. Na lang ko ihatag ang instruction uh, for those participants na to nga naa karon uh, sa MS Teams uh, natay before ta magkuan, before ang atong activity, nami na i-introduce unya sa inyo nga uh, kuan katong survey nga need ka ay na to I hope mahuman na to ni 5 o'clock uh, data ra ni uh, data ra ni nga atong pangayuon from the school uh, ang instruction na to ani nga uh, uh, pil apa ni siya sa atong mga principal and then uh, i-comply nila mumahimo karong adlawa makum makumplito ni siya uh, dili man po ni yung taas kaayo Igo igo uh, gamay ra man siya nga data kinahanglan lang nato nga tarungon lang nato input ang data and then uh, also para sa atong actual nga activity unya ang atong grouping karon is natay group sa MS Teams na putay group din karon sa live streaming ang live streaming pa uh, pwede gyapon ni sila mag comment para maka participate sila sa activity Uh, any comment in sa ilang mga pangutana pwede nila i-comment and then ma ang buhaton lang, lang dayo na to ang atong uh, himoon nga i-check na mo ang inyong mga comment para among makumply kung sa itong inyong mga gipang Uh, butang dito nga comment kay basin og namoy mga pangutana ya di namo ma uh, namoy mga pangutana nga kinahanglan namo tubagon so mo nang kinahanglan mo comment lang ta para mahibaw-an namo unsa inyong mga questions sa dito sa online no sa live streaming uh, naatay mga output nga gi-require ani pod then this activity muhatag ta ani og kuan uh, certificate So kinahanglan ato i-comply ang ato ang kuan ato i-comply og unsay mga requirements nga gipangayo sa tua para uh, makuha po nato ang certificate nga i-release ang atong certificate kuan uh, makuha ninyo po sa online lang gihapon napud tay attendance ani online nga attendance so dapat mo comply pud ta among ihatag ninyo unya ang link sa attendance para maka 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 kuan mo maka login mo and then kinahanglan ni siya og dipid email ang uh, buhato ninyo mo sign up mo sa link para maka sulod mo sa system uh, part sa uh, requirement nato adto nga attendance sa afternoon mag login mo ayaw na mo pag login dito sa kuan uh, mag time in sa hapon kay afternoon man ta nag start ah uh, So, ing ana lang no. I hope makaparticipate ta tanan. Ah, uh, kuan na ni siya combination na ni sa different learning areas and also uh, under aning activity na ana tay mga teachers na tay mga school heads. Uh, tanan na lang atong gi-require kay uh, magamit man nato ni tanan. Thank you. Ah, uh, magpaabot lang ta gamay kay before ta mag-start ako uh, uh, mo hulat lang ta mo hatag lang ninyo yung instructions kung panalitan mo sugod na ta thank you
So Sa karon na nate daghang mga participants na sa online na si Ma'am Rachel De Losa, si Ma'am GP uh, si Sir GP Paul Jackson, si Ma'am Chiki, Ali Trabago, Russell Danlag. Hello. Uh, si SDS ako ang kuwanon ron. Ako pa silang kontakon. Ah, unsa man ready na ka? Deon kisong, ah oh, siya mo mag MC. Okay, sige sige. Arlene nga. Uh, ah. Oh, si Sir Epi na mo mo isgot ana. Oh. Oh, oh lagi lagi. Taga ikog, taga ikog ko ana kanang unsa ni? Kanang si tao ni uh, ang sequence ba? Nakasulod na si Sir EP. Ang sequence ba? Ang kanang ano nako nawag. Kadili na kuno. sign of the cross in the new father the son the holy spirit amen <clears throat> most gracious loving father we thank you so much for this beautiful day that you have given to us thank you so much for the gift of life thank you for dying on the cross and for saving our sins we are very much thankful for the blessings to be bestowed upon us lord we are asking forgiveness of all the sins we've committed Forgive our sins, O oh Lord, for we are only human who can commit mistakes. We are asking you, we are, we, are, we are asking you, Lord, to protect and bless each one of us, especially our leaders, the facilitator of this training, and to all involved in this training, the participants. Lord, we believe that we can we can do nothing without you, Lord. So we are asking you to give us strength, give us knowledge, give us wisdom, so that we can guide us in bowing our tasks especially on this training about module making. Lord, we're asking you to protect each one of us, including our family and the frontliners. All these things were through Christ our Lord, our Savior. To start with our meeting this afternoon, I am requesting Dr. Mary Arlene C. Carbonera to give us the welcome message. Marlene. Marlene? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Good afternoon, everyone. My respect. Good afternoon, everyone. 
May respect to our school's Division Superintendent, Dr. Edelberto R. Oplinaria, Assistant School's Division Superintendent, Mary Ann M. Aliera, to all PSDSS and EPSS, coordinating principals and teachers. Good afternoon, once again. According to our DepEd Secretary, Leonor Briones, Though the country is facing an unprecedented situation, we in Deep Ed are focused to fulfill our primary mandate of instilling quality basic education to our Filipino learners. We are eager to push boundaries and explore new paths so that education can still continue. We are now to face the new normal education. Whether we like it or not, we need to be ready for the different delivery modes to be used applicable in our locality. And assure continuous learning without compromising the health and safety of the learners and personnel. Thus, we are here now for this webinar, Conversion of Printed Materials into eBooks with Dr. Connie Imborong, our speaker. So all of this in preparation for that new normal education. But before I end, I, I may I congratulate for our teachers who are in attendance today for being chosen as writers or illustrators or whatever task that will be given to you. Thank you for your for you, for responding the call in preparing our learners to this different delivery modes and to this new normal education so again once again good afternoon and welcome to this webinar thank you thank, thank you chief for sharing us insight um, on the best thing we can do on this covid crisis time that we are facing now this time i'm going to call our brilliant assistant coach division superintendent, superintendent dr mary ann m aliera ma'am it's your turn Hello, Sir Lito. Thank you very much. Uh, my respect to our school's division superintendent, who is also viewing the live stream, Sir Eddie Edelberto Oplinaria. Uh, Marlene, our OIC chief in the curriculum implementation division, to all education program supervisors in attendance, public schools district supervisors, district coordinating principals, all school heads. All teachers, cream of the crop of this division, chosen to, to be the writers, layout, artists, quality assurance committee, the language evaluators, all of us. Good afternoon. We are now embarking. We are now embarking on a huge task of changing the way. We deliver the educational services of the Department of Education. And today, let me share to you a reading or let me share to you 10 things successful people do when things go wrong. In this time of pandemic, shall we say, things go wrong. But actually, there are advantages and there are disadvantages. Let me share to you the article written by Robert Locke, an author of Ziger, The Tiger Stories, a health enthusiast specializing in relationships, life improvement, and mental health. According to him, successful people know how to adjust their goals. This time, we are adjusting, we are reframing, we shift anchors as if we are mariners, trying to ride, trying to sail the boat against the tide. We are now adjusting our goals so that by all means, we will be able to deliver our goals for education. Number two, according to Robert Locke, successful people are realistic and optimistic. Today, we will be given inputs on how to write learning modules, 
there will be details, specifics, principles, and guidelines that will be shared to us by the speakers. It is said, we in DepEd are optimistic and realistic that given the pulling out of our capacities, our resources in the Department of Education, we will be able to come up with the best learning resource materials for our learners that will be delivered in whatever modality this coming school year. Successful people learn from their failure. We might have failure in the past. Failure to deliver 100% of the competencies to our learners brought by the challenges day by day as we face our learners. This time, we are going to project we are going to think how best and what are the best things that we could do so that we could come up with the most effective learning module for our learners so as not to have the same failure. We could not afford that the failure that we had in the past, even this pandemic, will recur. We want to achieve more. According to Dalai Lama, when you lose, don't lose the lesson. Another is uh, successful people know that failure is a prelude to success. This time, we think we will succeed. This time, we will succeed, of course, because we are pulling out our resources. We are pulling out our experiences and our expertise so that we will be able to deliver the best lessons possible to our learners. People also ask for advice. And therefore, because of that, as we write soon, pretty sure, we will be asking for advice from the experts how well we will be able to arrive at the best output we could ever have in our lifetime, in our life in the Department of Education. Number six, this is very important. Successful people, especially in the Department of Education are persistent and courageous. This time, we are barred from having face-to-face -face interaction with learners because we are afraid of contagion. But we cannot afford to fail, we shall persist we shall be courageous enough. We shall not be screwed by what is existing. However, we shall be screwed with courage. Courage to think that in spite of these problems we are facing, we will be able to solve this in collaboration, in cooperation between and among each other. Number seven, they know that nothing is wasted. We cannot afford to waste our efforts. And therefore, as we will be learning the principles of writing the learning modules, we cannot afford to waste our time today. This is the moment. Seize the moment because this is the time that we will be learning. That we will be revisiting what we learned before. And of course, we shall not be wasting our efforts as we will be writing our learning modules. Successful people know when to slow down and take a break. This is not an easy job. You, we will experience a uh, nerve, uh, we will experience brain rocking, mind boggling, if only to come up with the best learning module suited to the kind of learner that we have. But in times when we are already exhausted, we shall take time to slow down and take a break because slowing down and taking a break will also help us reflect and refine to come up with the finest output that we could have. Okay, pwede ang pwede na. That is in writing the learning modules. Once again, let me say, hindi pwede ang pwede na but we shall come up with the best module that we could ever have for our learners. Successful people never blame. We shall not blame. Who is going to be blamed for the pandemic? 
who is going to be blamed for the contagion? Who is going to be blamed that we will not be able to deliver lessons the normal way we did? We shall not blame instead. We shall take initial steps and come up with the best services for our learners. And number 10, successful people never wait for the right time. Now is the time. June is coming. July, August 24 is the first day of classes for school year 2020-2021. See is the moment. This is a time where we learn how to write learning modules. This is the time that we will be able to experience sharing from each other. This is the time. See is the moment. This is the time that we will be embarking on a huge change. Change in the way we do things. Change in the way we deliver the educational services of our learners. And to end, let me say, if you think that the difference between failure and success is just a matter of luck, think again. As Betty Lou, the In the Loop anchor has said, it has nothing to do with chance. She summed it up. Opportunity plus preparation equals luck. Opportunity plus preparation equals luck. So good luck to all of us. May we be able to come up with the best learning module given the input this afternoon. And after that, we'll face good luck for our learners. In behalf of our school's division superintendent, Sir Edelberto Oplinaria, who is also attending to other important concerns this afternoon, let me say to all of you, good luck. May you, may all of us enjoy this journey. Therapy, back to you. Therapy, back to you. Sir Epi. Nakamute ka, Sir Epi. Nakamute ka. Okay na, Sir. Okay, okay. Sir Floor. Oh, okay na, Sir. Thank you. Thank you, Ma'am Mariana Lira, for the very inspiring words and concepts you've shared to us. I know the things you've shared to us will, will, will motivate us and help us to do more and give our best so that this training conduct, be conducted by our handling speaker, Dr. Mborong, will be a productive one. And this time, I'm going to give our intelligent speaker, Dr. Kuni Aranton. It's your turn, Ma'am Kuni. Thank you very much, Dr. Epi. My high respect to our Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, uh, Madam Mariana Liera. Good afternoon, Ma'am. As well as to our uh, OIC CID Chief, uh, Madam Mary Arlene Carbonera. Although our Schools Division Superintendent is not with us now because he is attending, he is attending an equally important um, um, concern as of this moment. Um, I hope we are all okay, it's despite of the crisis and challenges that COVID pandemic 19, COVID-19 brought us for the past few days, no, laban lang. So this afternoon, I'd like to welcome everyone to our session on how to make a module. I know that some of us are very excited. I can see in the group chat of science teachers, mathematics teachers, very busy downloading the uh, call to be apps, but we, uh, as of now, as of this moment, I sad to say that we cannot uh, make use of that apps Muna because we will start first the session on how to make a module. Because when we, uh, because um, if we will start with the ebook development, we need to know first the structure, no, the the table of contents. So it would be preferable for us to prepare. First, the printed module, the um, 
the printed module before we will have the uh, ebook no so that all we have to do is just to copy and paste what is in the printed module okay um i hope the signal is okay i hope i can be here clearly okay okay so allow me to start now my presentation is afternoon Hello, Ma'am Pony. Yo. Mag-instruct sa ta sa ilahap about sa ilang attendance kung saan nila pagsulod para ah, sa sige, ilang sige, attendance. Sige, sige, sir, floor. Sige, okay. floor. Sige, sir, floor. Uh, mayong hapon sa tanan. Uh, in this activity, we need to access the attendance site. Okay. Akong i-post ha? Akong i-post dito sa group sa one, akong i-post sa inyong group and then uh, i-access ninyo para maka-time maka in mo sa hapon, sa afternoon. Kay one of the requirement nato sa ato ang uh, certificate after the, the training, ang ato mga attendance. Okay? Okay. Ma'am Pony? Okay na. Okay na. Sige. Thank you very much, Sir Flor. Okay. Of the of the day. Now today, let me share with you everything or let me share with you the same. Uh, Proceed na, Ma'am Kuni. Ah, uh, Brad. Yes, ang imuhang kuana, ang imuhang ang list lang, dili ang file. Katong akong gitudlo nimo bitaw, nga i-open da oh, oh, ni oh. share. Pada akong kuhat. Kita na? Ah, uh, wala pa. Ah, uh, list pa, pa lang. Kadyot lang, kadyot ako tro. Ayaw sa i ayaw sa i-share kung wala pa nimo na open ang file, ang file man goy imong i-share. Open da ang file. Sure naman ito ganyan ha. Huwag na po nakita. Kadyot lang ha. For a while. Kadyot lang. Okay. Okay, makita na siya, no? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, for this particular session, allow me to use the PowerPoint presentation of our chief in the BLR production in the central uh, BLR production division in the central office in the person of Dr. Bessie C. Agamata. This PowerPoint presentation was provided to us uh, last year when we uh, had the development of modules intended for open high school learners in the senior high school. Okay, so in this PowerPoint presentation, we will be discussing the different processes of ADM learning resources, what are the elements and its technical specifications, the what composes, who, who will be the composition, or who are the personnel who will compose the ADM management and development teams, the copyright management and style guide, as well as the general specifications of an alternative delivery mode learning resources. So let's start first with the management and development process of ADM learning resources. So this is the flowchart that we are going to follow in the development of our module. First, we have the, the input will be the needs analysis. Uh, if you, those who are involved in the harvesting of learning resources, we did that because we tried to uh, assess the, the, the level of readiness as far as availability of learning resources is concerned for each particular learning competency. So after that, we, the, the respective education program supervisors will do the planning 
together with the of course with the support of the division office we will have the planning as to what are the things to be done in the development of these modules then after the planning what will follow is the identification of the development team later we will know kung sino sino ang pwede magiging bahagi, magiging uh, bahagi or members of the development team then after that uh, orientation actually this is already the um, orientation on how are you going to do it and how are you going to make the module siguro follow up orientation na lang to be done by the respective education program supervisors then we have the development of manuscript meaning the writing proper of our modules then after that there will be an internal review to be conducted by the development team of the developed uh, manuscript then after the internal review the manuscript will be uh, will be revised based or following the suggestions the comments the recommendations no more corrections uh, made by the development team then this revised manuscript will be submitted for quality assurance submitted to the division office for quality assurance then after that uh, evaluation will be, will be done again and then the next steps will the next step will be based on the result of the evaluation like if the manuscript if the material met the standards uh, the manuscript will proceed to the field testing um, if there's still time but we will try our best to have this no katong yes suggest because our uh, yesterday during our mancom assistant uh, Ali, uh marian aliera uh, made a suggestion to have a to have these materials tested through having a triangulation triangulation pero kung wala na ba sige diretso na sa region siguro whatsoever so we we wait lang ta sa uh, further instruction no so but if the material did not if the material uh did not meet the standard ibalik siya to the development team for the revision until the material is ready for signing off okay so this is the template uh, to be accomplished by each uh, team no this this is template is called teamwork plan here we can see the title of course the title will be the learning area team lead leader will be the name of the education program supervisor the team members will be uh, all writers illustrators editors proofreaders will be listed here then assignment in the next column then third column is the assigned modules as to what module number or what week uh this particular writer writer is going to write and then the deadline this is very important no? because if you're not going to set the dead, deadline, mabot na lang ang 2025, mas submit. No? Then after that, signature. Meaning when you affix the signature, uh, it means that you agreed with the, you go with, with the agreed schedule, no? with the agreed assignment. Next is, this is the illustration summary and approval sheet. This will be given by the writer to the illustrator as a reference and checklist for suggestions and approval of the assigned illustrations. So again, the title will be the learning area, illustrator, the name of the illustrator, writer, quarter and module number, and then page. Uh, in that column, you are going to indicate the way, the indicate the page number, number where the illustration can be found. Then you're going to write a short description. Then in the approved column, you put a check mark if it is approved. And put uh, and then after that, after putting a check mark, you affix the date. But if the illustration is not approved, it is disapproved, you write the reason and then you also write the suggestion so that the illustrator will know what is the appropriate illustration that uh, he or she is going to illustrate. Okay, basin o ang iyong illustrate, di na po mao. So, mas may itong, it is advisable for for writers to really stipulate the reason as well as the suggestion niya gusto. Then, total number of illustration. Then, next is overall recommendations of the writer. And then, the below part, uh, the writer and illustrator will go to place their name and then put a signature above their printed names. And uh, this one, the next document that I am showing you is uh, one of the evaluation tools. 
Again, I, I would like to make an emphasis on this. This is only one of the evaluation tools that we will be using in evaluating our uh, developed modules. So this tool is called or is named Conformance Checklist on Technical Compliance for DepEd Learning Resources. So we have there the title, the learning area. Here in the title, what we're going to place here is the uh, the title of the module, no? Because each module has its corresponding title. The learning area, the grade level, then date, number of pages. Type of resource, uh, just check what type of resource we are evaluating. And in this particular endeavor, we are evaluating module. So uh, we are going to tick the module. Can you box the module? Then next, we have page properties, margins. Later, as we go through with our presentations, we will be guided uh, by the standards as to what to answer in this particular tool. When to answer yes and when to answer no. Ang, uh, my concern lang is, if ever we mark no, please put a remark. No, uh, Give a reason why no, and please give a suggestion okay so now let's proceed to the adm lr management and development teams okay next again next slide is on adm lr management and development teams here we will be uh discussing who will compose the who, who, who among our personnel can be a writer, illustrator, proofreader? Yana. So here. The development management team is composed of the following. First, we have a chairperson. So in the division level, it is the CID of the curriculum implementation division who will chair this. Uh, development management team and the terms of reference are the following he or she ensures that that the complete staff work is prepared and approved she ensures completeness correctness and adherence of the ADM modules to the standards she manages the development process of the ADM learning resources she also signed off the ready to print ADM modules and certifies that are ready for printing and this chairperson has a co-chairperson the co-chairperson is the learning resource management uh, section no manned by the focal person in the learning resource management and then uh, prepare csw ar accomplishment report and budget estimate if there's any he also or she identifies, we also identify because we are the one who co chair the CID chief. We identify members of the development team, but for, the, for this one, we ask the supervisors, the education program supervisors, to do the identification, the identifying of members of the development team because we know that they know better who among our teachers are very good in writing, very good in illustrating, and uh, and who knows how to to proofread and so on next we are the one responsible also in the conduct of orientation on how to develop modules we monitor the progress of the lr development process and we ensure that compliance to the adm lr standards are being followed next are the members the member the member of the the members of the uh, this development team are the division learning area supervisors or the education program supervisors. Their terms of reference are the following. They identify members of the development team. They give technical assistance on content and pedagogy. Of course, APSS know better and they are the experts with the staff to content. LR personnel are only uh, competent when it comes to technical specifications, but as to content, hands off many other, okay? Then review and approve manuscript, then ensure that comments and suggestions from internal and external reviewers are incorporated during the revision of modules, 
ensure the correct the correctness and completeness of the ADM modules and sign off the ADM modules. Next, writers. Based on the standard, the standards rather, uh, the number, the upper, uh, the, the the recommended number of number of writers per learning area is are two, is two rather. So, pero depende na na sa education program supervisors if they want more, no? So, who are the personnel involved? We have classroom teachers, master teachers, or the education program supervisors themselves. In terms of reference, they map the curriculum, the existing teacher's manuals or guide. Oh, no, we have done that already. Then, they write the manuscript according to the standards. They approve the illustrations because writers uh, will work hand-in-hand uh, -hand with the illustrators. They incorporate comments and suggestions on the manuscript. They obtain permission to use copyrighted materials from the original owners. Um, although in this standard, we will be taught on how to ask permission from the original owners of the copyrighted materials that we are we are planning to, to use or to copy. But... Uh, we would like to suggest, no, uh, if possible, we will be using original text and original illustrations. Kay hasul ka ayu, hasul ka isang tanan, no, to avoid problems, no, to get rid of problems as far as IPR is concerned. And another are the following: uh, ensure that the copyright and intellectual property law is strictly followed during the development process. And uh, they certify that the manuscript is free from copyright and intellectual property issues. That is why uh, there is a form that we, writers need to accomplish, and that form is an inventory of original um, original parts, original copyright material, uh, original materials. Sign off ready to print manuscript and accomplish the following forms. First. Before the writer starts writing the module, he or she needs to sign first the writer's assignment agreement. Later, I will dis I will explain further what does this form mean or means. Next is illustration summary and approval sheet, copyright originality form, performa communication seeking permission to copy when needed. No, in close parentheses. Inventory of third-party contents. Next member of the development team is the illustrator. Uh, we recommend to have one illustrator per learning area. Uh, we can tap the DepEd illustrator and teacher illustrator. Uh, in Lana del Norte, we only have one DepEd illustrator in the person of Sir Earl Tolero. No, jadi so kaayo ko si Sir Earl Tanan ang illustrate. So we 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 will try to to tap the the members the pool of illustrators in the division. Mam Miles has a list of this, no? So kabalo na ang supervisors ani. Then the terms of reference, they provide illustrations and visuals needed in the manuscript according to the standards, no? According to the EDM LR standards. They finalize illustrations and visuals based on the writers and reviewers' comments and suggestions. Attend orientation and editorial meetings related to development of ADMLR and accomplish the artwork assignment agreement. If writers have a form to that need to be signed, illustrators also has a separate form. For him or her to sign, no, it's it's an assignment agreement actually that he needs to accomplish before he start illustrating. So kinahanglan a writer and illustrator kinahanglan open to comments and suggestions. Kaya usahay pag during the evaluation ay makita na yun di makapasa material and tendency is mo undang dili mo padayon then maangin na dain ang tanan. No, so magsabot-sabot taha before we'll commit the we'll commit ourselves to the assigned uh, assignment. Uh, make sure that we will really work work it out until sa signing of sa material. Dili po yung daghan na po kaya nila corrections. Oi, no, dili po yung kailang open ta. No, ang kwalang yun ana is uh, 
let's humble ourselves no kay let's uh, always think that there always there is always somebody who is better than us dili po ide kay bikay right okay next is we uh, another member of the development team is the layout artist if the illustrator can do the layouting much better para gamay gamay atong uh, kwad siguro no personal involved in the development team but if there's a need for us to have an additional artist to do the layouting we can tap the ICT coordinators okay kay wala man tay teach, teaching material specialist wala man tay administrative assistant no and then our PDO librarian are can only be can be found only in the division level in the division office they di po na nila matabang all drawing tanan oh layout tanan no we only have one PDO in the in a in the name of in the person of Ma'am Miles and then librarian Ma'am Joy kami gin so we can tap ICT coordinators the terms of reference are the following they lay out the manuscript according to the standards. They attend orientation and editorial meetings at their setting. And they submit the edit editable digital file of the manuscript on the agreed schedule following the LR standards. In the later part of the presentation, we will be taught how to save our files. Okay, there is also a standard in naming the file of our uh, saved manuscripts. That we need a proofreader. So, recommended number of proofreader, one per learning area. And the proofreader depends on the language used in the learning area. For example, for English, math, for English and math, the language they use is English. So, most likely, their proofreader must be a an English teacher, a master teacher in English or a secondary teacher for Filipunan, AP, uh, Filipino, Filipino pa na ilahang proofreader. For MTB, MLE, for Bisaya, ato ato mga lead teacher sa MTB, sa Bisa, si Dubano, Bisaya, o sa Maranao. Their terms of reference, ensure that the material is free from errors in terms of grammar, spelling, punctuation marks, format, and they also need to attend orientation and online meetings in the future. Then, we need also an in-house content editor. Uh, the recommended number of content editor is one per learning area. We can tap the classroom teacher, master teacher, or the IPS says themselves. No, kasi sila magiging sa content. The terms of reference are the following. They review the accuracy of the contents of the manuscript and if it is free from social content violations and plagiarized content and illustrations, they check the compliance of the ADM learning resource or manuscript to the curriculum standards. They give com comments and recommendations. They ensure that given comments and suggestions are incorporated in the manuscript. They also prepare and submit the manuscript with marginal notes and again, attend orientation and meetings related to the development of ADMLR. For language editor, what per learning area, uh, we can tap the classroom teacher, the master teacher, and the APCS. Their terms of reference are the following. They review the manuscript for language errors, faithfulness in translation, coherence and clarity, grammar and syntax, spelling and punctuation, Consistent if the they can do the kato sa spelling punctuation, okay na siya, no? If they can do it, pwede na siya usa usa na siya katao, okay lang. Then they ensure that given comments and suggestions are incorporated in the manuscript. They prepare and submit the manuscript with marginal notes and attend meetings. For IP materials, okay, if we intend to develop IP materials, we include the community elders as part of it. We do respect the, cult the cultures, traditions, beliefs, and practices of our uh, uh, IP brothers and sisters, no? and, uh, IP community. Okay. It's not easy to... to, to, to to use their materials kini sa mga IP community dili pwede nga ato uh, dali na kayo na to 
i sana i ibahagi yung mga yes ha magetsit ko gili taro ah okay thank you for a while thank you kay for a while wala daw tingog okay i hope okay na siya Okay, so what I have learned, writing materials, we need the community elders to give the go signal. If we can use their um, artifacts, no? Or not. Kay, as, as far as I know, pinahalan pag ritual kung gamit ka sa ilang mga artifacts. Okay. Next, these are the qualifications, uh, qualification standards of the development team. Let's start from the writer. The writer must uh, have at least three years teaching experience in the learning area she is assigned to write. For example, if the writer is assigned to write in Araling Panlipunan, grade 6, uh, it is a need. One of the qualifications of the writer is kinahanan uh, nagtulo siya ng subject, ng learning area for at least three years. Then has excellent written communication skill, either in mother tongue, Filipino, or English. Has an experience in developing modules and other instructional materials. Pero kung wala po experience, ane, okay lang siguro. If you really can write, uh, it's okay. No? Okay, if you will not be given a chance to write now, comes up a man. Okay? Next, has knowledge on office applications. Content editor, these are the qualifications. Uh, I think I need not to discuss one by one the criteria because it's the EPS, uh, EPSs who will be the one to identify who will be their content editors. No, their language editor, their illustrator, their layout artist, their proofreader. Okay, so let's proceed na lang to... Directly to uh, general specifications of NDM learning resources. Nagloading pa. Okay, paboto na to. Gawas ang akong slide sa YouTube. Kay Lo ito nag-view ka ron. Nag-lag. Okay. So, this time, let's have the general specifications of ADM learning resources. Let's start with the structure and sequence of our module. Now, please, uh, when we write the module, please see to it that our lessons shall be arranged from simple to complex. Because if learners, the moment the learners will read the module, and then in the first part of the module, the sub na kayang gisgutan, tendency is the learner will not finish the module. So, it's really important to, to arrange the lessons in the module from simple to complex. Then, the letters of the, the size of the letters and sentences uh, also vary no? according to the grade level. So, there is an appropriate size and appropriate design of the fonts of the letters and the length of the sentences based on the target users. That presentation shall be engaging and interesting. Now, let's proceed to the language. The language to be used for the mother manuscript shall be based on the grade level. Like, for example, for the K-3, to for the kinder to grade 3 learners, uh, I mean, modules, all learning areas except English is Filipino. So, I repeat, all learning areas will use the language Filipino except, except English. For grades 4 to 12, for the following learning areas like Filipino and Edukasyon sa Pagpapakatao, the language to be used is Filipino. For English, Science, and Math, the language to be used is English. But for MAPE and MPPTLE, it depends upon the grade level. For grades 4 to 5, MAPE, EPI, uh, MAPE and EPP, TLE, the language to be used is Filipino. For grades 6 to 12, 
the language to be used is English. And for Analing Palipunan, the language to be used is Filipino. Kaya ang Kinder 2 3, again, uh, the language to be used is Filipino, except English. Now let's proceed to the content. Nag-loading pa sa YouTube. Ako ipaabot. Okay. So, for the content, ADM LR shall follow the K-12 curriculum. I'd like to remind everyone that even though we were disturbed by the challenges and struggles brought about by COVID-19, still the curriculum that we are using is K-12. Huwag yun na siya na-usap ha. Huwag yun na siya na COVID, sukad-sukad. Still, K-12 of the curriculum we got it. Even we are having now the essential learning competencies and the three learning competencies, still these learning competencies are aligned with the K-12 curriculum guides. Okay? Next is, content shall use pedagogical approaches such as constructivist, inquiry-based, reflective, collaborative, and integrative. It shall consider learners' context Situations, individual needs, and capabilities. So make sure that when we write the module, the module must be contextualized. Okay? Content shall adhere to the social content guidelines and activities shall be learner-centered and shall promote with the first century skills. What are the elements and the technical specifications of the modules that we will be developing? After this session, no? Okay, na ito yung sagutan. Let's start with the front outside cover page, the copyright page, title page, and introductory message. Let's find out what are the entries of these pages. What are the things to be found in these pages? How are these pages being layouted? The front outside cover, if you are not familiar with the parts of the book, the front outside cover page is the the outside cover page. Bitaw. Kada ang if you can see that pink book on the screen, no? Kung makita niyo na pink book sa screen, and then ay ay mga stars, that is the outside cover page. Okay? Kada sa gawas, ang tawag ana outside cover page. We will uh, we will learn in the later part of our PowerPoint presentation. We will learn how to uh, make the outside cover page, how to lay out the outside cover page. Then after that, the copyright page, the title page, and the introductory message. Okay, these are the entries of the front outside cover. The entries are the following: the resource title and the language type for Kinder to three. Uh, modules only, no intended. Kinder to three intended modules only. The fourth type that we will be using is a serif or sans serif typeface with large x height, open counters, contrast, good linkage, uniform proportions. But for this material, we agreed yesterday that the fourth design that we will be using is Arial. Then the font size for the resource title. It's 35 to 45. Then the position aligned at the center top part of the cover below the grade level identifier. Na magutan na nito sa mga grade level identifier. Mamaya, I will show to you how or what does a front outside cover looks like. Next slide. Next slide is... The grade level identifier for Kinder to 10. In the grade level identifier, we will use letter K for kindergarten. Meaning, if in the front outside cover, in the grade level identifier, letter K is written there or reflected there, that means that that module is intended for kindergarten. For grades 1 to 10, we will be using the Hindo-Arabic number. And then the font type, we have Arial, bold face. Then the font size is 70. Then other details, position, top right-hand corner. 
one point uh, the box size is 1.5 inches by 1.5 inches with rounded corners this is for kinder to 10 okay for the senior high for the grade 11 and 12 lahi po ang itsura sa ilang grade level uh, identifier okay next uh, this is the violator. The violator, there must be a government property or papagari na pamahalaan in the Filipino version. Or another violator is not for sale for the English version. That person will be used for math, English, and science. Hindi ipinagbibili for the Filipino version sa edukasyon sa pagpapakatao. No, kana. Nagloading ang YouTube sa dilang. Okay. Next is Okay, for the cover photo, um, illustrators, we are all reminded to please, please use original illustrations. Okay, please use original uh, illustrations. Uh, time, I'll show to you what are the sites where we can uh, use free images. But the problem is kay colored magud siya no ang makita dito and then dili siya contextualized kay western nice kasagara ang makita dito ng pictures no kung flowers the, there are flowers there some of the flowers uh, flower images that can be found in that particular um, website are not found in philippines dili siya dili common sa mga bata so dili pwede nga dito kay contextualized pag kahatong tumuhaton okay Next, for the identifier, I will be using Department of Education, the NIDAP, Republic of the Philippines. That is for the English version. But for the Filipino version, we will be using Kagawaran ng Edukasyon, the NIDAP, the Republic of the Philippines. Area bold face, 15 point ang font size. Position niya is bottom center part of the front cover. Color, uh, front cover. And the color is black or white, depending on the background color. Next slide uh, presents or shows the background color codes of our ADM module in the grade level identifier. Now, if you notice, our textbooks are color coded. Okay? Our textbooks are color coded, like for English, from the lower grade to the higher grades, all English textbooks are in light blue. And Filipino textbooks from lower grade to higher grades, the color of the textbook is dark blue. For science, it's orange. So, these colors will be used in the grade level identifier. For us to really know in what learning area that module is intended for. Okay? So, we have here the background color of any module shall be white. Color of the grade level identifier shall vary according to the learning area. If the module is a mathematics module, the background of the grade level identifier is green. If it is a Ralimpalipunan, the color is red. If it is ESP, the color is brown. Black or white can be used as the color of the text inside the grade level identifier depending on the background color applied in the box. Like, if the color is dark, like dark blue, brown, and black, we can use uh, black as the color text of the grade level. Kung light colors po siya, we can, uh, if we, can, we can use white. Kung light colors po siya, like yellow, color yellow, white, uh, pink, light blue, we can use black, no? As the grade level identifier color. So, this is a sample of the grade level identifier of the ADM modules. Grade 2, grade 4, kinder, grade 8, grade 10, and senior high school. In grade 2, what learning area is this? This is a MAPE uh, module. In grade 4, this is uh, education sa pagpagpakatao. Okay, brown is background. In pink, kindergarten. Okay, then we shall K. In grade 8, Red in background, that is Araling Panipunan. In the grade 10, light blue ang iyong background, so that is English. The senior high school, black. So this is the sample front outside cover of an ADM module. So we have here in the upper left corner, uh, we can find there the violator. 
no the imutang niya we place the government property not for sale and then but there is an, an updated uh, standard uh, provided by the central office but we among ourselves the the, the learning area i mean the, the learning resource supervise learning resource management and section supervisors uh, we agreed among ourselves in the entire region 10 that we will use the previous standard the one that we followed during the time that we uh, we are still developing the module intended for the open high school learners of for, uh, for high school okay so that we have there the grade level identifier then the resource title we put there the uh, the learning area the quarter the module and then we will add there a week no so that we will be guided as to what module we are going to give to the learner so ibutan na to week one week two week three atong indugan sa module then we have the cover art at the center the adm logo and the depth ed identifier next slide uh, presents the copyright page no at the inside uh, inside front cover we can find there the copyright page and the entries in the copyright page are the following we have the research title the copyright year the copyright notice the name of the copyright holders, the members of the development team, the printer's company name, the address, contact details. The font type is Arial. And then the font size, 11 to 12 or 9 to 11. And then other data, that is 11 to 12 for the resource title and copyright year. And then for the rest, it's 9 to 11. This is a sample of a copyright page of an ADM module. Now, if you notice there in the upper left side corner, we have there the research title with the copyright year. So the research title is Science Grade 8, Alternative Delivery Mode, then Quarter 1, Module 1, then First Edition 2019. Then the copyright is the copyright notice is based on the Republic Act 8293 section 176 in Botana Niha the RA the name of the copyright holder the, the name of the members of the development team the printer's company name and then the address and contact details now the next page is called title page in the title page the entries are the following the grade level identifier that is written in Hindu Arabic number. Then the research title, the learning area, the quarter, and the module number, as well as the lesson title. And then in the title page, we need to place there a feedback box. Why? Because we it, we tend to we we want our modules to undergo a continuous improvement, and we can only improve our modules if we receive feedbacks from the users. No, so feedbacks are very very important for us to improve our modules. And then the last one is the DepEd identifier. So this is a sample title page. No, if you notice there in the upper right side, there is a grade level and identifier. Then the resource title, and there below the resource title is the feedback box. No, the important this instructional material was collaboratively developed and reviewed by educators from public at one of private schools, colleges, and ansguro. No, okay, wala man sila na involved sa kwan. We encourage teachers and other education stakeholders to email their feedback, comments, and recommendations to the Department of Education at ah uh, ato na edit kay dili man ato ang action at dep.gov.ph pwede sa email address sa writer para automatic makbalo ang developer sa feedback sa mga gikan sa mga users okay sa so, ato na nang i-edit gagahapon wala man ato ninabantayan sa kuan anyway let's proceed introductory message Introductory message contains instructions for the learner or for the teacher. 
For the learner, it uses the learner's language and must be conversational in nature. So, in writing the module, our statements must be conversational, like you, 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 you. Do not use uh, the learner is expected to delay. You are expected, anak yun siya. This time, you are going to study, uh, ana, or we are going to study about, so, no, pero dili pwede gabingan ka o oh, uh, in this activity, you group yourselves according to your groups or according to the number that will be provided. Dili pwede kay dalo ba ni sa mga bata, wala ba siya kagrupo dito siya eh. Usa ba siya kagrupo dito sa humayan o sa bikiri nga ayang itabahuan, no? O kung nagbutabaho magaling. Individualize ang module nga itong buhaton, okay? And then it gives an overview of the content of the module. Wag yun na siya introductory. Paybawon ang learner Unsay expected niyang halibawaan. It defines and explains the standard symbols used to represent some parts of the module. The later part, uh, we are going to show to you what are the different icons and what does each icon mean. Then, for the facilitator, it gives instructions to the facilitator like teacher, parents, adult, and how to use the material. And then, for the facilitator's part, the language must be appropriate to the adult. Next part, let's proceed to the inside pages or what we call the body of the module. The inside pages are composed of the following parts. We have introduction, we have pre-assessment, the lesson proper, the generalization, the application, the post-assessment, and additional activity okay i repeat the inside pages or the body of the module is composed of the following parts introduction pre-assessment lesson proper generalization application post-assessment and addi additional activity so on the next slide we will study what are or how are you going to place the uh, the introduction the pretest how are we going to what label are we going to use what icon are we going to use Ingana. okay so for grade 4 to 12 in the element introduction or learning objectives the label that we will be using in the module is what i need to know no we will not use introduction delay atong gamitin is what i need to know for the Filipino, alaaraling palipunan, edukasyon sa papapakatao, the term that you will use in the label is alamin. Now, in this part, this contains the learning objectives to be developed in a material. It uses the learner's language and must be conversational. Then, the icon that will be used is kanang maadi sa screen, sa enjoying screen. Okay? Then, next, after, after that, after the introduction, Pretest will follow, but we will not use the element pretest, uh, the word pretest rather. But we will use the label what I know for English language learning areas and subokin for Filipino language learning areas. In this part, this assesses, assesses rather what the learner knows about the lesson to take. Then the test, test item range, ranges, the range shall be as follows. Depende sa case stage, like in the first case stage, meaning K kinder to grade 3, the item, the test item is composed of 5 items. No? The pretest is a 5 item test. For case stage 2, the pretest is, com is composed of a 10 item test. For case stage 3, the pretest is composed of a 15 item test. And then case stage 4, again, still 15 item test. Next. After the pretest, lesson proper follows. In the lesson proper, we have there the review, then the activity 1. In the element review, the label that we will be using is what's in for the English uh, language learning areas. For the Filipino language learning areas like Aralipripuna, Edukasyon sa Papakatao, Filipino, MAPE for grade 1 to grade 3, ang gamito na to, ang grade 3 ba? Basta ang gamito na to is balikan. For 
The element activity the one, no? the label that we will use in English is what's new. And then to classin sa Filipino. Review from the term itself. Uh, here we are going to connect the current lesson with the previous lesson by going over points that were taught or learned previously. So in this part, you will say, uh, in, uh, previously in the last module, in the previous module, uh, you learned that noun is ta ta ta. Imo siyang i-review, i-detail siya. No? Ang module magkong kina, mura siyang spoon feeding. Kay the learner does all the reading. Kaya mo pre problema o not reader atong learners. No? Maglisod ta. But anyway, ilahay po na itong delivery, uh, learning delivery option ato i-provide ani nila. But, let us assume nga magkabasa nga itong bata. That's why we are developing modules for them to use in the uh, coming opening of classes this August. Okay? For activity one, what's new to class in? Uh, in this part, a new lesson will be introduced. No, it could be, we can use story, activity, poem, song, situation, or activity no, as a springboard to, to introduce the new lesson. Next part of, under, still under the lesson proper, is discussion of activity one. So the label to be used is, what is it? For Filipino, sorry, it. Here, questions that will help the learner discover and understand the concept will be uh, reflected. Questions should be asked in a logical manner that lead to formative assessment and there will be a brief discussion of the lesson. So, a brief discussion, a more isulat ni hapon dito sa module. No? For example, kung nag-talk ka sa about parts of a flower, uh, the parts of the flower, a more isulat na dito, basahan mo na sa bata. No? So, after that, enrichment activities will follow. No? But the label that we'll be using is what's more, in English and Pagyamanin in Filipino. Here, a guided or controlled practice will be placed or will be given to the learner. A, gu a, gu a guided or controlled assessment or independent practice, practice or independent assessment will be provided to them also. Now, we also have notes to the teacher. No, this can be included in any part of the lesson proper to give additional instructions to the teachers and facilitators if necessary. Okay? Next element is the generalization. So, the label that we will be using is what I have learned for English and is a ASIC for Filipino. Here, a question or a fill in the blank sentence or paragraph to process what the learner learned from the lesson will be placed. The icon to be used, it cannot come out in a suga. Then, application, what I can do is a gawa, an activity that shall transfer the skills of knowledge gained or learning to real life concerns or situations will be uh, placed in the module, will be written in the module, will be included in the module. And then, the post assessment. Uh, with the pretest, pareha siya o number of test items according to the case stage. Like, five item test for the case stage one or kinder to grade three. Then, ten item test for the kin, uh, case stage two. And then, for the case stage three, it's 15 items up to the case stage four. Then, additional activities. Uh, this is an activity in any form that can increase the strength of the response and tends to induce repetitions and actions or learning. Okay, this is for grades 1 to 3. Uh, Pari-pariyo siya, pero nalay wala na appeal sa grades 1 to 3, nga naa sa grades 4 to 6. Okay? So again, we have here the element, the label, and the module to be used in English and Filipino. The icon is still the same. The icon used in the what I need to know in the grades 4 to 6 is same icon with the grades 1 to 3. As long as if as long as the label is uh, the same or what I uh, label uh, label nga what I know or what I need to know sa grades 1 to 3, the icon is the same with the grades 4 to 6 nga icon. So that's it. Pariyara na siya tanan. And then kindergarten, again, the icons are the same according to the label. So we have here the sample pages of a module. 
So we have here uh, lesson one, biology. So that is the 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 lesson. The title of the le uh, the the learning area. The, the title of the lesson is the science of life. Then can I first paragraph diha? You know, loading pa YouTube. Abuto na to ang magpasta ng YouTube ha. Hello, e po na ng view. Pagdutan ako. Okay, so that's it. So in the first paragraph, that is the introductory part. No, there you are going to greet the learners. No, ngamura yun mo na kung istorya sa ila ah. Let the module speak in your behalf. Instead, ngayon ka ng istorya para nila, ang module mo istorya in your behalf ganto sa mga bata. Okay? Then we have here the what's in, then the icon, then notes to the teacher, what's more icon para yung horagyo na siya. Page set up for kinder to for kinder we have the kinder to senior high school we have the same page paper size it's A4 there's no other recommended paper size for the modules of kinder to grades 12 same as yeah but for the orientation for the kindergarten it's different because the orientation of the kindergarten modules are set into landscape while grades 1 to senior high school portrait but kinder to grades 12 we have the same margin and that is one inch at all sides top bottom inside outside and then for math the same mirror margin But for the ideal number of pages, in the body, ha? Dili siya appeal to cover page o katong outside back page. Dili appeal. Katulad yung ideal body pages na yun siya. The ideal number of pages in the body part of the module, for kindergarten, it's 4 pages. For grades 1 to 2, 4 pages. For grades 3 to 6, 8 pages. For grades 7 to 12, 8 pages. 16 pages. Typography, we have here, uh, we agreed already for grade 6, we will use Arial. For uh, Kinder to grade 3, we will use Century Gothic. And then for grade 4 to Kinder higher grade, Arial. In the font Ula size, me. just follow the recommended okay, font size four. according to the grade okay. level. But please note that uh, Per grade level varies according to the font size and R to text ratio. No? In the font size, at the grade level goes higher, the text becomes smaller. And then as to R to text ratio font, sa art, at the grade level goes higher, the art or the illustrations nagkagamay. Ang percentage niya. Okay? And then, ang text font nagkadaghan. Like, Uh, other specifications of body text for kinder to three the body text shall be flush left rag right for grades 4 to 12 the body text must be justified then no page number for title page and copyright page nagloading pa ang let's wait for the youtube nga mga plaster ha kay Okay, again, I'll repeat. For the other specifications of body text, for kinder to grade 3, the body text shall be flash left and rag right. But for grades 4 to 12, the body text shall be justified. And then there must, the title page and the copyright page have no page number. There shall be no page number in the title page and copyright page. Here, this is an example of an activity sheet intended for Kindergarten. If you notice, tanawa ang activity sheet. Asa may daghan na ang text or ang drawing. So, mas daghan ang drawing kaysa text. Diba? In the kindergarten, 70% of, uh, 60, 70 of the you know, of the module, kinahalan nga illustrate, illustrations ang makita. Then, 30% ang text. Takto ba ko? Let's review. Tanawa na to. Ah, sixty-five percent rather. Sorry, sixty-five percent of the module illustrations, thirty-five percent on text, and then page numbers. Where are we going to set the page numbers? Page 
numbers must be set at the center at the bottom of the page. No, nasa tinga, tunga ka ng 36, centered at the bottom of the page. Centered at the bottom of the page. Sa tapat tunga, sa ubo, sa page. Mo na na ha ang page number. And the page number numbers must be set in Arabic numerals. Paragraph endings. Let's have the paragraphs endings. How are going to end our paragraph? No, well, in writing modules, kinahanan ta makabalong po ani. Kay, we are reminded that there should not be just one word or half a word on the last line of a paragraph. Kinahanan ato nan siya ni Kayan. Now, we have pages, we have what we call widow and, and, itong ani. Orphan. Later, sabi mo, ano ito na, usa ng widow o ganang orphan. Okay? Pages shouldn't end with a hyphenated word. Then, the maximum number of hyphenated words uh, in a paragraph is maximum of three consecutive only. Three consecutive hyphenated words. More than that, dili pwede. No? Again, a maximum of three consecutive hyphenated words are allowed in a paragraph. Kung upat na siya, Pada ikaw buti nga dili na mahipilitin, mabroken word ang imuhang kuan. Paragraph. Pages should not end with an acquired page turn. Oh, kini. This is what I mentioned earlier. Pages should not have bad breaks which affect readability. We have here a widow. Sample sa widow, kinigigod rin. Particularly, if you publish reference books or history, history is. Widow ba na siya? Ang sabi niya sa widow? It is a short line or anything less than a full line at the top of the page. Kaya yung sumpay na sa next page. For a while, kaya nag-loading ang YouTube. Okay, so that's what we call widow. Ang sumpay na is what we call orphan. No? Kaya na sumpay na ang sentence na sa next, para, next nga page. Kato nga sumpay, we call it orphan. Orphan is a stub of a line at the top of the new page. See? We have their critical part of the of their market. That's a, a, a typical example of an orphan. Pag itaay pa maagi, masumpay na siya dito sa previous nga page. Next, back matter. Humana na sa front matter. Humana na ta sa ba sa inside matter, sa body pages. Now, let's proceed to the back matter. And back matter is composed of the answer key, the reference, and the back, back outside cover. The answer key, nag-loading mag-good ang YouTube. Okay lang, padayon lang po. Okay, so we have... Hello, Ma'am Kone. Yeah. Okay rin ang sa YouTube, Ma'am Kone. Kaya mo, kuwan rin na siya. Sumpay rin? Ako tingo? Oh, sumpay rin. Di ah, okay. Na okay. Okay. Na. okay, thank you very much, Sir Flor. So, in the answer key, we have here, uh, kinahanan na ka rin siya upside down no, in the material. It contains the answers to all the activities, di ba? In our, we have the pre-test, the post-test, and then in the development of the lesson, we give Uh, we provided activities. So, all of the answers of those activities, of those pre-tests and post-tests, will be reflected in the page answer key. Ang kwan lang, ang pagkasulat niya is upside down. Ibaliktad siya. We have there a sample. Kami kita mo siguro yun na. That is how we're going to place our answer key in each activity. Next is the reference. The reference include, uh, must include all third-party materials or sources in developing the material. It follows the Chicago Manual of Style, 7th edition. In the back outside cover, we have the feedback note. Uh, the font type uh, is Arial, font size is 12. Then the logo of the department of, uh, of our division. Kaya wala man partner nga NGO. So, Nan ako yung prepare mo yung feedback note. I already prepare a sample of of a template sa module wherein writers will only fill in the the statements, the contents of each part, no? The entries of each part. Ako na nagiready na ano na ah. 
we go na lang mo fill in. So, nothing to worry with that. Ako na to i-edit, like what I uh, have mentioned, kato sa feedback note na email to, oh, ato to siyang ilisan, email sa writer, ato ibutang at to. Illustrations. Illustrations shall face towards the page gutter. Illustrations shall not be divided into two pages or placed between the gutter or the learning resource. Okay. Kini gutter, kanang, kanang, o sa libro pa, kanang ihang tunga-tunga, nga nag-bind mo na ang gutter. Okay? Nga nag-bind mo na ang part sa book, ang itawag o gutter. So, dili pwede nga ma-divide ang picture. It's na, it's a big no-no. Illustration shall use line art in single color, preferably black. And there shall be no shading effect other than hatching, cross hatching, and steeple shading. The reason why we recommend or we encourage everyone to use single color in the module is that the having single color in the module, the moment we print them out, less expensive, yeah, compared to the full color module. No, but uh, if you notice, our textbooks, the materials provided by the central office, siya, black and white, it's okay, mas barato siya, mas cheaper siya. So, this is a sample of a line art material uh, illustration. Ingatan lang yun, no? line art, and then sample of hatching shades, cross hatching, and staple. Cropping, sa pag-drawing board. Usabay itong bantayan. Cropping in the joints, like neck, and sa liog, shoulder, D and elbow shall be avoided. So, dili pwede ka. Kung nakikin picture sa tao niya, iyan ang ulo, naputol ang liog, or naputol ang tuhod, dili pwede, or naputol ang siko, dili pwede. Illustrations and visuals shall be original. Why original? To avoid problems on intellectual property right and plagiarism. And then, flatbed scanner, kini kung mag-scan na tao mga illustrations on niya. If graphics or visuals like line art, tables, charts, etc., especially sa math, yan, magkinahalan ng mga chart, no? Mga, what's that itong ating, mga tables. They are used, please be reminded that they are only used to supplement body text. Dili siya gigamit to, in order to, to, to make it or to fill, just to fill the, the space. Kaya usahay, o pagsulat na ito, dako pa kayo space, mag-drawin na ito, butangin na lang ng tao niya, or kahoy niya, para magpuno na, dili po hindi. No? These illustrations, these graphics, shall be found on the same page as the text citation. They are there to supplement what is the text is telling the learner. Okay? Graphics and illustrations should supplement the body text and not be used as space filler. Okay? Na na kasagara, ang muna kita sa big books, ang drawing, ang, ang text, kami ngun, uh, isang araw, kunya ang drawing kay natulog sa, dyan na bulan, na wala na, nag, nagsungag na siya, ang text, isang araw, pagkahuman, isang gabi na itong drawing. Okay? Next, use bold face for foreign words or technical terms being defined only at first mention. Set these words irregular for the rest of the time they are used. No, pag gano'n na, Paul. A liquid, a liquid is a state of matter that has a definite volume but no definite shape. Since we are trying to define the word liquid, a bold face na siya. But the moment that word liquid is mentioned in the later part of the paragraph, regular na ang iyahang pot. Dili na siya bold face. Only uh, on the first mention, during the first mention. Paper and binding. And... Uh, this is very self-explanatory. I did not to discuss this one by one. Self-explanatory, man siya. Kini lang. I'd like to give emphasis on this. The digital file management. How are going to save our files? Not without artists. Please take note on this. ADM modules shall be encoded using Microsoft Word. The one who will do this are the writers. Now, at least use at least versions 97 to 2003. There shall be one digital file per module or learning competency. Each module shall be named following this format. Learning area with grade level, 
underscore quarter number, underscore module number, underscore lesson title, underscore version number. So we have here an example, science 8, underscore quarter 1, underscore module 1, underscore nature of biology, that is the lesson of the, the title of the lesson, and then underscore version 1. And since this is our first version, all modules are expected, all modules that will be developed uh, after our orientation, the moment we will start writing, shall be, uh, are, are, are expected to be version 1. Wala pa yung magbutang o V2. Ha? The draft manuscript ready for external review shall be version 1 of the module. Ready to print module shall be stored as doc and PDF files. Copyright management and style guide. Copyright management, the development team shall be oriented on the intellectual property and on accomplishing the inventory of the third-party contents. Writers or illustrators shall accomplish the writers or artwork work assignment agreement. Uh, na lang ako discuss kana katulad yung file atong gamiton. Okay. This time, allow me to share to you the different tools or forms that we need to accomplish and the tools that we'll be using uh, when we do the evaluation of these modules. Okay, let's start with the tool. Okay. Okay. Since a uh, module is a print resource, we will be using this uh, evaluation rating sheet for print resources. Now, aside from this, uh, ganiha, na mention na na to tong isa ka tool. Aside from ato ka tool, we also use this one, no? So, um, all we have to do is just check. Nama po instruction. All you have to do is read the instruction. When to check v four, three, two, and one. So there are four, three factors that need we that we need to look into. No, in evaluating the material. Next is evaluation tool for content. Here's the tool for the content. In evaluating the content, we have there the learning area, the grade level, the title. Again, we have the instructions. Please, uh, my advice is please read first the instructions before you, you do the evaluation. Huh? Okay, para magaidin ta. When to answer yes, when to answer no. So, in this particular tool, there are six factors that we need to check that we need to evaluate like for example in factor one we have their intellectual property rights compliance the lady resource has no copyright violations is it yes or no and then out of that uh, answers so yes or no we will count we like a yes because that will guide us where to to rate the factor complied or not complied like, at least three criterion items must be marked yes to indicate compliance to this factor. So, for this factor, if there are three checks under the column yes, meaning the material complied, the standard set by this factor, by this tool under this factor. Okay, next is tool for design and layout. So, this is the tool for design and layout. Again, these tools were provided to us 
uh, during our evaluation in the of the of the open high school modules for senior high school learners no last year so again read the instructions all you have to do is just check yes or no and then we have three factors for this particular tool next another so we have here the form this is the form illustration summary and approval sheet ako na ba na discuss kanihan doon na usap lang yung hang itura pero actually the, the contents are the same so we have here title proof this, all of this will be provided to the personal concern. Kung kisa mo na-assign, Anna. Ako lang kay PM ni mo ang kwan. Next is... Kanang Excel, ani. Next document that I will be showing you is... The performa communication seeking for permission to copy. Like, if the writer has something to copy from this particular material, uh, we already prepared a, a sample letter for you to use in asking permission to the original owner of the material. Pero when you use this one, please erase performa communication seeking permission to copy. Huh? But the date, date, uh, number, uh, name of the copyright owner, address of copyright owner, kay letter ba siya kung nuhin mo? Subject, kana subject ba ano siya? Request for copyright permission, dear, you place there the name of the copyright owner or the agent, then we are writing to ask permission to use, you write, the indi you indicate there the specific title of the, wo the work or the content of works to be copied. From your work entitled, you place there the title of the book, or the work from where the specific content will be copied from. The said contents will be essential in attaining the objectives of the learning resource. Then you put the title of the module that you are developing, that you are making. For use by public school learners in the Philippines, the following are the limitations of the copying. Then please complete and return the conformity slip at your earliest convenience. Thank you very much. Sincerely yours. You write here the name, your name your position and your contact information. And then we have here the name of the copyright order, the signature and the date. And please wait for this confirmed slip to be returned to you. No, I had a move maka gamit sa inyong kopyahon ka material. Or else, do not, do, do not pursue with your plan in copying the material without this confirmed slip. Okay? Kaya magkaproblema tayo na sa IPR sa plagiarism niya. Bako lang. Next is the writer's assignment. Writer's assignment agreement form. Uh, before, as what I have mentioned earlier, uh, before a writer, the writer will start writing the module, he or she needs to accomplish this one. No, This is an agreement that the moment the module is uh, ready for signing off, ready for utilization, you cannot claim the rights of the module anymore. It's already the property of the Department of Education. Dili na pwede nga, imo siyang Bawi on kay imuhang ibaligya or on sabakaha. Ha? So just re, uh, so wave of rights. I wave all the rights, including any right or prior approval and release the Department of Education from and will neither sue nor be, bring any proceeding against the Department of Education for any claim or cause of action, whether now known or unknown, for defamation, copyright infringement, and invasion of the rights to privacy, publicity, or personality, or any similar matter are based upon or relating to the use and exploitation of the content. I agree that this is no obligation to use the authorization granted by me hereunder. The terms of this authorization commence 
on the date below and continue in perpetuity. So, kinahalan nga, same thing will be done also by the illustrator. Okay? Pariha naman siya o form. Ang assignment lang ang mag naglahi. Next is inventory of the third party. Inventory of the third party content. This is uh, the inventory of all materials that you copied from the other sources, from the other Yes, from the other source, no? Kanan dili siya sa DepEd. Why do we need this one? So that we will know how much percent or pila ka percent sa imuhang module ang imuhang kinopya. Kay kung ingabot na 90%, ayaw na lang. <laughs> Kay mura na kang wag abuhat ang module. Okay? So this is the inventory of third-party contents. So this inventory is a separate from the development catalog whose sole purpose is to aid in decision-making or on whether to in enter into an agreement with collective management organizations. Type of learning resource, the module, grade level, uh, grade 6 or grade, o sabay yung sulat, type of learning resource, module. Title, description of third-party content. Katong title sa yung mga kopya, creator, kisa tagiya, copyright holder, source and contact details. Saka na labi na kung mga textbook, uh, the back page of the book na adihe mga source and contact details. No? Nature of copying, uh, condition of use in, for educational purposes prepared by ikaw nga writer. Next is model release form. Now, kulang kaita in case na we lack illustrators. Kulang kayo ang illustrators. All we have to do is we make use of our photography skills. Ma picture na lang ta. No, if we need a picture of uh, children playing outside or in the playground or in the fi rice fields, mag picture na lang ka. So, kay tungod ng picture ka o tao, you need to have a model release form. Kada picture nga naa sa imuhang module, kinahanglan nga naa model release form. If there are five pictures, uh, of photograph pictures in your module, expected that there are also five model release form. What are the contents or how are we going to uh, accomplish this model release form? We have here the name of person photograph, your model. Kato mga bata, ganang dula, kinsa ba to sila, tagsa tagsa to siya, o model release form. Then the address sa ane nila sa mga model, Telephone or cell phone, email if there's any, and then the date, gagan picture na sila, location, sa mga pag picture nila. And then, sa obos, we have here, I don't know, ah yes, sa obos is, this model agreement and release is dated, kasi nga pizza, and is between the photographer. And the model agreement as follows. I hereby grant the above mentioned photographer permission to photograph me. I to photograph me. I further give him or her my irrevocable consent to use, reuse, publish, republish the photographs in whole or in part in printed learning resources. I waive any rights to intellectual property. Then model name, address, email, model signature, and date. Kung wala o below. 18 years old ang bata, under age, uh, you can ask the parent or the guardian to sign in her behalf. Then, pizza da yun. Okay? Next. Next is for a while. Copyright originality form of inventory of original contents. Uh, uh, third party materials. Uh, for a while. 
third party consents rather so this one this one is the inventory of the original contents katong mga original ni mga uh, contents sa material imo po ibutang diha title then a uh, creator conditions of use or uh, entered here are contents originally developed for the learning resource assigned as agreed the copyright will be assigned to DepEd with all considerations listed in yes in LRC form 1 or writer's assignment or uh, artwork assignment for illustrators then we have here prepared by the writer yes yes ma'am ah 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 salamat okay no problem <laughs> okay na ihing sunog dire na guy powerpoint sige Ata? Hindi ba ko dadahan? Baba, sige na. Sige, then the the this time I'll, I'll show to you a sample module format. Nga uh, where in you all you have to do is just to fill in the expected entries in each part of the module. Okay, let me show it to you now. Sample, module format. Okay, so this is now a sample. All you have to do now is just edit this grade level identifier. No, if you are assigned to write under grade level, aside from grade 6, you change this one. And then if you are assigned in Filipino, you change the background, the grade level Identify your okay, red money only gamit ani. Oh, yes, red bong orange bong gulish. So, bong should red out now, eh? Okay, so depending siya sa learning area, and then we have here the learning area, the quarter one, module one, week one, and then we we intentionally include week number because we we do not give the module the inter module sa bata sa whole sa isa ka to ego isa ka quarter. By week man, ang atong paghatag sa ilaha o sa arrangement. Or twice, uh, kung mas siya mo sa, sa isa ka semana, uh, half of the week, siya mo report, then mag-modular mag siya sa balay. So, sini man na itong paghatag. Depend, depende sa arrangement o niya pohon. Then, the cover arts, illustrations, photo. So, dili sa ito nga, kinahalang original ang illustrations. Then, the logo. And then the deep end identifier, and then the copyright notice, i edit lang the learning area or grade level. The rest are okay. And then i edit lang po the development team sa module, no? I basig ang ang writers lai maparihatanan. Kini sa development team okay na niya. Ang inyohan ng buhaton is fill in the names of the writers. Illustrators, proofreader, ada. Mau dah nak jadi mutan dia. The next is title page. Again, i edit lagi ni dia. Kau ambil labu tan private school, ani, colleges, or universities. Atau nanti i edit dayon. Aku dah nak ikut. Public schools. Okay. We encourage teachers then ang imuhang email address sa writers na lang siguro para automatic mapunta sa imuha ang feedback. Pwede po sa abu imutan diri ang sa email address sa LR. Kami na lang siguro ang mukha. Kami na yung inform na dayon sa inyo. Ha? Ako na rin init niya ha. Then, table of contents. Tingnan na. So, kinahanan maplastar ni siya before we make the e-book. Kaya in the e-book, we need to set first the the chapters, the 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 table of contents. Kaya dilik po hindi nga nakabuhat ka sa e-book, ayak pa ka mabuhat sa table of contents. So, kinahanan, it is preferable, uh, it is recommended for us to develop first the module and after that, we will convert that module into e-book. Okay? Sige, so mo siya ang table of contents Mo na ang arrangement So, follow lang Lesson 1 Ang akong butang niha ang arrangement Sa grades 4 to 12 
Sa lesson 2, ako po taga grades 1 to 3. Pero if you are assigned to develop a module intended for grade 4, sa lesson 2, you follow these parts. Kini na din sa lesson 1. Ha? Pero kung sa, if you are assigned to develop modules for grades 1, kay, I believe there are provisors na napadevelop po no, sa lower grade, uh, you follow these parts. Mahagya po din mo follow sa lesson 1. Okay? Next is the the body of the module, the inside pages. So, we have here the lesson. So, you write here the title. And then, we have here the label. Mahal na din ang label nga gamitin. So, what I need to know, what I know, then ang icon, corresponding niyang icon, yung partner nga icon. So, na plasta na na, yari na na kung nadaan, o kung sa iyang paris nga icon, di na mo magita. Then, references, uh, include all third party materials or sources and developing the material, pa di mo makalimot, ako ang imutan niha. Then, the outside back cover, I put the logo of the division, kaya wala man tayo funding agency, ano yung wabate partner ng NGO, so ato ang logo, ato ang imutang. Kaya kung na-partner na ito ang best, ato ang imutang ang kwan sa best, di wala man. So, we have here the feedback box again. No, please write or call. Ato ada din address. Ato ada din division. Ako yung butang. Okay? So, for kato mga images na gusto mo makabalo, what websites na baka avail sa o free images for a while ha, kapag itaon ako, asap ko na ako ng butang ang kuhan. Kadali. For a while. Okay, um, Sir Floor, pwede na ta maka-entertain o question while I am trying to locate my file sa katong mga sites nga na free images. The floor. The floor. Ah, okay, nakita na ako. Okay, sir floor, for images, sir floor, uh, for free images, uh, you can search on the following website, kining dreams, dreams time, deposit photos, I stock, free pick, free images, Pixabay, Pexels, and Canva. Kana, mga free na siya nga mga kuan. Free na siya nga mga, uh, mga website na siya with free uh, images. All you have to do is uh, magkuan lang mo ang account. Free mo po ng account nila diha. Okay? Sige. Uh, that ends my presentation. We, are, we can now entertain questions for clarification, sir. Or, or man, or, mga pila ka questions lang. Five questions. Sir Floor. Hi, Ma'am Con. Yes. Hello. Yes. Thank you so much for ex explaining everything in detail, Ma'am. No? Ma'am, do na lang ko clarification, Ma'am, on yes. the language to be used for the key stage one. 
4K stage 1. Ah, di ba, gibutan to dito nga, for, balik ko na to para dito masaya pa, ha? Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, balik ko na ko ang slide, ako ipakita, for a while lang, ha? Exit English, Filipino ang gamiton. Mama, tigi butan diri. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Kita na to tong slide, ha? Kadali. Wait, dili di mo. Oh, kadali lang yun. Ha? Ha? Uh, don't you worry for those who who were late during the uh, discussion a while ago. I am willing to to share the PowerPoint, no? Para na mo guide or ako lang niya ng transfer sa docs sa English Word para masayo na paghatag sa inyo ah. Okay, kajut lang kay nagloading ang ako ang laptop. EDM LR standards. FYIDI, these standards are being updated now sa central office. Pero as what I have mentioned again and again, we uh, with the LR supervisors in Region 10, we agreed among ourselves that we will use the standards used during the development of the Open High School modules for senior high school learners last year. Moto ang mong i-follow para uniform ang Region 10. Ma'am Ging, kadali Ma'am Ging ha. Itong tanahan na yung slice. Ma'am Ging, ba't ko? Yes, Ma'am Ma Ging. Yes, Ma'am yes, Ma okay. No hurry. Sige. Dito lang. Language man ito ang pangutana, di ba? Yes, Ma'am. Language to be used for kids for stage kinder. Uh, kinder to for K stage one that is kinder to grade three. Yes, ma'am. Dara. Okay. Apa sa ning share screen mam ha? Based on the standard. Kata sa previous standard, kata hindi pa updated, ha? By the way, basi mga tanahan mo, mayingan mo nga, ganun dili man ang updated itong gamiton. Kaya actually, ang central office, nag-assign sila o grade level per o region. So, mo ito nga, pag-inform na ko sa... Contact na ko sa central office, ngayon ko nga, ma'am, sa amuang region, lailahi o grado ang division, dili man isa na kagrado. So, may ito yung advice siya nga, ma'am, kung pwede, sa cover page, lahi lang ang standard, lahi lang ang itsura sa dyan, para na-identification, na-itimail ha, na-identity, kung kini siya, national, nationally developed man siya, national initiated, mundial man siya, or region initiated. So, ma'am, ito kami sa Uh, ang Region 10 ng LR Supervisors, we agreed among ourselves na we will use the katong previous nga standard, katong gigamit na mo sa open high school nga module for, learner, for senior high school learners. Okay, Ma'am Ma Gay, makita ni siya? Makita ang slide? Oh, yes, Ma'am. Uh, the language to be used for the mother manuscript shall be for kinder to grade 3, all learning areas except English is Filipino. So, pero, pero siguro, mother tongue, pero mother, ang mother tongue, ang ato, ah, bisaya. Pero yes, pag-develop na ito, Filipino, pero pag-deliver siguro, bisaya. Kay ipadala, bisaya na sa itong mga learners. So, bisaya, ma'am. Ang pagkuhan, yung module, yes, ma'am. Ma Ikaw, ang sabi ko na ito, i-abing di, kuhan, the MTB coordinator. Ang sabi ko, bisaya siguro, no? Bisaya, Kaya, ipadala pa natin sa sata. Oh. Sinubo, anong binisayaan meron now? Okay. Sige, ma'am po sa other learning areas kay 1, 2, 3 is Ma'am ko, ano yung language to be used is mother tongue ba yan, ma'am? Okay. Hi, ma'am. Good afternoon. Yes, ma'am. Hi, ma'am. This is Geraldine, ma'am. Kanang, kuwan lang ni siya, ma'am. Idea lang ni since uh, the time that we are um, kanang naghimumi atong book sa grade 3, 
kung man dapat mother tongue for Arling Panipunan. But the region is instructed as to to have it in Filipino para i-check pa magud siya dito sa national. So, dili sila ah. ang BLR dito if it is in the mother tongue. So, Pero, Ma'am G, Ma'am G, Pero katong do ah, national initiated man to siya, di ba? Katong yung gitrabaho. Oh, national. Ang oh, kini siya kay, kini siya kay regional initiated magod siya, Ma'am G. Ah, okay. So, oh. basin si Kumaoning Filipino kay gikuan nila for the national. Oh, gipater nila. Oh, yes. Gipater nila dito sa national. Pero kini magod. So, katong punto ni Ma'am Ma G, yung dalong magod sa bata, So, mas may siguro nga, mother language sa bata, mother tongue yun nga kung sa bata, sa learner. Ano yun siguro, ma'am? Oo. Uh, mother tongue siguro. Oo, uh, oo, uh, uh, correct. Uh, clarification, ma'am, kay Lipo, kung ano siya, national man good ni siya, nag-base ni siya sa national, uh, siguro nga uh, guidelines. Oo. Uh, so, uh, so, so, ang mother, mother tongue sa, mother tongue. ang mother tongue sa Luzon, sa... Filipino ila Tagalog. Filipino. Is, ang mother tongue nila is Filipino. Filipino. So oh. That is why Filipino po ang nakastate niya. Yes. Oo. Sige. Ah, napay pangutan na? Okay, alas patron na. <laughs> Thank you, Ma'am Con. Yes. Thank you for... Salama. Thank you. Hello, Ma'am Coni. Ma'am Coni. Pero pag-gig, pag-gig. Magig. Um, yes, ma'am. Try to... Have you contacted Sir Eli Baribaw? Na contact mo? Wala pa. Kay, Ay, o, contact niya ito kay... Siya ito, mother sa region. Ma'am Kwan, Ma'am Kwan. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes. Ma'am okay. Kwan eh. Yo. Okay. Uh, anyway, ang na-assign sa ato, di ba, grade 6? Yes. Ah, yes, madam. Yes, ma'am, Arlene. Ah. Oh. So therefore, uh, pwede gintong mag-prepare si sa ato ang mother tongue, MTB, ang katung mother tongue, good, kay especially that we have also Maranao learners and Kanisaya. Uh, so therefore, buhat, mo na lang gintong atong buhaton for our division, di ba? Uh, actually, ma'am, Lee, nai naka-assign sa kinder, grade 1, grade 2, grade 3 po ng division. Oo, na-assign. Oo, na-assign. Pero bata lang yun, ang istorya yung minimum ginging gabi eh, ako siya ginan nga, i-contact po si Sir Eli, kaya kung wala'y nakakuha sa Maranao, mag-develop na lang yun sa Maranao or sa. Pusigling yes, wala yun, oh. kita may gusaling ng kanila na. Oo, oh. mga po. So, pero willing mo na si mag-ginging mo, buhat pa, Marlene? Yes, congratulations to us. Don't forget to me. Sabar na, ipat natin buti ang guwapa. Adya, adya mga kapatid. Yes. Naminaw mga po ako ang mga... Ay, okay ka na sa, masuko na sila sa mga ang trabaho ba yan? Naminaw kayo ako mga partners, Karol. Oh, always na sila on the go. Sila kikinip, ato agad ni Bira, sila pa ako din tao. Ang big na champion ng atas national. Dito palupig ay. Maojud. Ah, oh, sige, salamat kayo. Thank you, thank you, Ma'am Arlene. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, salamat po, Ma'am Arlene. Salamat, Ma'am Jing. Thank you. Wala naman sige rin pagutan na. Sir Flor, asa na mga Sir Flor? Sir Flor. Lord. How about ang uban? Basing na may gusto ipaambit while waiting for Sir Flor to come back. No, to be on. Sir Flor? Na na ka din, Sir Flor? Wala pa dyan. Sir Flor. Hindi kita ka-close, Adi. Hindi kita ka-balood sa pag-undang, Adi. Sir Flor! Okay, napay pangunta na. Basig, kung saan ba? Clarifications. Udugang paambit. Huwag na mo yung nahibawaan pa.
Sir Floor, paging Sir Floor Belade. Ano ay Ma'am Cons? Wala pa si Cons. Yeah, Ma'am Cons? Yes. Ma'am, Ma wala pa si Sir Floor, Ma'am si Diana ni Ma'am. Ako. Napasa Ay. sa office ni SDS, ma'am. Ah, okay. Sige, so, uh, ito na buha ito na, ni. Ang sabi, buha ito na ito, ni. Questions, wala ni po, Tana? O, basit na ikapahambit ako, ba? Ito mga education program to providers, basit na may message para sa ito mga writers. Isa may naadiri. Sir Ruben Tabar? Nasa si Sir Ruben Tabar? Sir Ruben! Sir Ruben Tabar! Isa pa din na adilain. Sir Rosilito Ipe, Mamuni! Mamuni sa Maba! Duk Maba! Any word from Mamuni? Sir Rosilito! Ah, si Ma'am Lorraine na lang. Oh, may naligong. <laughs> Sige, ito yung buhaton sa unang panahon. O, wala'y ubising maestra. Mag-program. Mag-program lang ta. Kasi mo kanta. O, may matingog. Hello? Hey ma'am, tubagon ta ka ma'am. Sige, kisan ni? <laughs> Wala sila naningog ma'am, pero nakikin like istorya. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sige. Kita so, ba di? Si? Ay ma'am, Geraldine ni ma'am. So, ah, kuan ma'am ba? Clarification lang. So, kanang mag-create o development team writers for Bisaya and for the Mar for the Maranao. So, ana ang posible ma'am? Yes, ano yun? So, lahi good ang writers for the Stay Stage 1, for the Kendra to 3, for the Bisaya, and for the Maranao. Yes, kay I, I so, believe na ang, the, 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 the uh, mga Bisaya na ito mga teachers, dili gina sila kasulat o para Maranao ka modules. Yes, Sam, kay maumago na ang problem in, in, katong nagkuantag DLP. Ah. Uh. O kay, naglib, ah, dili, dili, achievement. Test man siguro ma'am, mga maragalisod sila, ga translate Bisaya ang more of Bisaya, tapos ang mga Maranao is, naglisod sila how to gi-translate nila ang test questions into Maranao, Marag, wala kay nakuanan ang panamab. So, pag-develop siguro sa development team is, isip na siguro sa memorandum, separate good siguro ma'am, no? Uh, yes, mauna na yung plano ni uh, APS Bicoy. There will be a separate team for the... Maranao modules, uh, Maranao module writers, and then sinubahanong bisaya na module writers. Lahi siya. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Usahay man, good ma. Makuan man ba? Mapokus ang kuan sa bisaya. Dagi. Mapiaan ang isa. Oo, oh, yes. correct, correct. Okay. Majid ang kuan. Di. So, so ma'am, 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 Yes, ma'am. Hi, ma'am, Hi, ma'am. So, interested ka, ma'am. Interested ka, ma'am, sa Asmira Now Writer? Ay, dili ko ka... Dili ko maran ho, ma'am. Abisa. Yes, ma'am, kay. Lahit pa di, lahit pa di si. Iksaod kay 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 unified test na Bisaya siya. So, their problem is, ilag yung gihubad to Maranao. So, maot po siguro atong makuan any modules. Okay. So, but this time, ma'am, na-enhance naman ato ang koan. Quarterly test. Na-enhance na siya. So, nanay for sinubuan nung binisaya and nana po intended for Maranao learners. Ah, okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Thank you for your concern. Okay, those who are interested to be a writer sa Maranao ng Mudyol, raise your right hand. <laughs> Ay, dagat kayo na, oy. Gino ko na, dagat kayo willing yun. Mm -mm. I'm sure of it. Yun, kabalo yun. Dagat kayo. Dagat kayo sila, ma'am, kon. 
nag-attend na sila karon ay mga uh, very good Tanong na yun. Hindi ka ang siro sa mga ito. Kisa pa na ipanguna-una ni ha. Kaya nagpanghipi ni ha. Sama ni Ma'am Rosnia Bali. Master teacher sa hero ni Macabrera National High School. Science writer yun yun si Ma'am Rosnia. Kaya murag po ama ni Ma'am Belen. Tingnan po dahi, bisag ik na lang dahi. Ah, wala pa so far, Ma'am Con. Murang <laughs> <laughs> marahit tayo naging karon. Maka-pressure man, Ma'am Con. <laughs> Ay, di, di, ito, pressure, pressure. Kaya ba, <laughs> importante, buhi, o guwapa, ada na ba daw na. Ay, ang video, hapit na. So, pas talabi, nabig eh, sulat ron, kay hapit ng uh, quad, video. Pero paspasan, paspasan na ito ng sulat kay... Huwag ayaw pa tawag sulat, huwag ng medium, malang aluyan na dahil yun. Sige, kaysa may ikuan. Ma'am Arlene, basig na kay further instruction para sa tanan ma'am while waiting kang sir floor. Hello, good afternoon. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Loud and clear ka, ma'am. Okay, to everybody, to everyone, no? Dili lang ma-pressure, hinay-hinay lang. No, anyway, we have... Kano sa ganyan deadline na ito, ma'am, Con? So, ah, uh, ang atong... Ay. Sa, sa region, June 30, pero quality assured na na. Meaning, nangyagi na siya evaluation, may agi na kuan. So, ito pa ito identify ma'am, together with the APSS, Kung kasi ang ma-deadline na to for the submission of the kuan, manuscript o sa mga modules. Okay, if you have some concerns regarding the making of that uh, modules, free, feel free to approach us para matabangan po nato, no? Anyway, we have APSS and PSDSS who, who will also assist us, no? Assist you in the making of that uh, modules. So, pag naay mga dili kayo masabdan, maybe you could text, especially Dr. Imborong, no? Inform us. You could uh, inform us your queries through text or Facebook Messenger. So, I hope wala man siguro okay man kayo because I believe that this, you are, all of you are chosen, meaning to say you are very good in this uh in making of this mga different uh, learning materials, no, especially modules. Actually, this would really help, especially that uh, uh, maybe really good mahitabo ng dive face to face. So therefore, maybe we will let them bring instead these modules. So. Uh, yes, I agree. If we were nine face to face, but then limited only, no? Limited to 15, 15 pupils in a classroom. Now, in a, in, in a class, maybe it's not only one mode of delivery, maybe will be used. Maybe we could use three, no? Three modes. Not only online, not only face to face so maybe two or more am i right ma'am con yeah yes ma'am yeah, actually ma'am ma arlene as of this moment as general office nag identify siya ang lima ka learning delivery options under the learning continuity plan una katong gitawag nila o gitawag o blended learning wherein there is a combination of face to face online and modular learning ang ikaduha is katong distance learning in which this is only viable for independent learner and those learners supported by periodic supervision of parents and guardians. Then, ang ikatuno, katong homeschooling, uh, uh, from the term itself, learners are also provided with the uh, same quality basic education at, at home. No? So, and this is to be facilitated by, the, by a qualified guardian, tutor, or parents. Uh, they also have undergone 
really bad training. Ay, ikaw pa't nga gi-identify nila, ma'am, is ang apprenticeship nga gi-adapt na nato siya sa senior high, especially with the TVL learners where in this learners uh, undergo immersion, actual immersion in the workplace situations under the supervision of a a certified practitioner. And then, ang ikalima, katong face-to-face learning, this is the traditional uh, type of delivery option. So, katong yung mong giigod, yung posibig yun, yung isa ka klase, uh, mag-adapt yun sila, either modular, uh, online, for those learners nga na ay internet connection or na ay mga gadgets, pwede sila. Kaya, mga to, atong plano nga, after any mga okay, development of modules, i-convert natin siya into e-books so that we, for those learners nga na yung mga uh, smartphones, we can only uh, ask them to download the e-books nga atong ipagamit sa ila. Ah. And for those learners nga na internet connection, pwede sila nga through web-based education or web-based learning or video-based learning, and depende lang. Katapong, i-mention nila Ma'am Eva, nila, sorry, nga katapong video-based instruction nga Mas dagat siya, mas dagat siya coverage kay hasta para bukid na magi radio. So for okay. ana ba, dagi combination of okay. kuno preparahan lang yun ato ni tanan, hugot bakos talang yun taan eh. Si COVID yung hinungdan ani tanan. Kaya <laughs> di ba dato na makontrol, wa kita ibahibo, no? Sa so, dilag, no. importante buhi ug gwapa. Dili ta mo surrender, no? Ah, dili, dili mo surrender ba. Para yes. sa mga Okay, so thank you kayo sa tanang mga teachers, no? Uh, thank you, Kaayo, sa inyong pag-response to this call. Uh, with this, uh, very sure, Kaayo, tanga, makatabang ta sa mga bata. Especially that uh, we are protecting them also, nga di sila ma-infected of this disease, kung naa or congested ta in a class. No? So, all of these are for them. So, in behalf of the CID, we thank you for that. Yes. Ma'am, uh, question Ma'am Arlene, are we going to uh, push through the scheduled training for tomorrow sa e-book? E-book man karon. Ah, dili karon Ma'am, kaya ang module kuan. Naka, naka. Dan ay ang e-book. Ah, Yes, complete Lagi. <laughs> Salamat kayo ha. Thank you kay Bay. Manghit ta ko di bye bye. Ayo ay ki batigala ta do. Ayo sa taon. Okay. My lockdown. Lockdown rep to me. Batigala okay. 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 na da kan live streaming ra sa YouTube ta do. Ogma ang Kotobi. Oh, what? Ma unsa man unsa man karon ang ibo karon or ang um, um, ang module pa ma'am. How to develop a module. Kinahanglan magod nga Makabalo sila sa pagbuhat ng module kay before ta magkutob mag magbuhat sa ebook kinahanglan na na existing module kay so, sa ebook ma'am iset magudaan ang table of contents tanan mas nindot yung makadungog pud ang ato mga teacher sa ebook ah sige ma'am oh. ma'am sige ma'am Arlene ug ma bohol participate sila kay na, na, na may mga teachers nga naka-appeal sa kuan ko katong kutobi nga gi-conduct sa central office ang katong Mag-appeal o ma, pwede, ang nakato nag-appeal na sa CEO, pwede na ito di mag-appeal o ma. Pero kung saan sa mag-appeal di hapon, kaya makikita di hapon sa tatawag na dagko, ay kandungo sa tatawag na dagko, katigong, okay, but sa, the, the many year, the many year. <laughs> Especially yung katong ma, it's good na makayapon. Pwede na mag-appeal sila mo, atin kon, kay Basinbag na asalay, kanabit ang parihaan ni Karol, nga namantay ka ng gitarget yun ng mga output. Uh, at uh -huh. least magaidan sa sila ba unsay buhaton using uh, kutubi uh, paghimo uh -huh. niya sa atong ibox e din uh, ako lang i-report ang atong kuan ang atong participants live viewers nato ni about tag 1400 plus uh, hello 1400 uh -huh. teachers hello uh, yes, thank you dili nato ni mahimo kung katong face to face murag di gid ka himo ang ato ang gihimo karon Moro mo ni pinakadako na to nga uh, participants for katong pila ka activity na to no. And uh, then yes. I hope ugma same number of participants or more ang mo participate kay ang actual e-books naman to ma'am kuni di ba? Uh -uh. Oh then uh, another natay i-float nga kuan ha katong survey ha palihog lang mi og kuan unya uh, comply and then the attendance uh, dili sa namo i-off ang attendance up to 10 o'clock karong gabi eh, para maka 
maka-attendance mo kay kaganina, medyo nihinay ang kuan access sa attendance kay nagdungan ang 1,000 plus ka mga teachers o access o natukan ang atong server. Then, Sir Floor. Yes, ma'am. Ong ma, kanang, kung pwede yun ta, provide them the link where to download the Kotobi apps para ma'am. ong ma, di, di, o, o, para di na tamag kung anong ma sa download. Nagkuhan ako daan, ah, ito pang, kaga, kanong saan ako, ito i-post ha. Nag-post ako daan sa ilang mga group. Murag, kagani ang buntag man siguro. Nag-post ako daan sa ilang mga group asa nila i, kuhan, i-download ang Kotobi app. Ah, ah, okay. Sir, sir, Sir Flor, bati na kuha kay Nay nag-message si yes. Ma'am Elva May Angeles Fabricante. Uh-huh. She is asking kung na na ba'y chosen writers for the Moodios. Murag, interesado yun yung mahimong writer. Uh-huh. Murag, ang uh-huh. makatubag, uh-huh. Ana, ang different learning area supervisors, no? Sila may, uh-huh. sila man mo yung... Ma'am Elva, please, uh, kung na lang, isulti yung sa imong learning area kakuan, kay para ma... feedback ka na to si supervisor. Mas maayo na yung volunteer kaysa na ito ang itap kay Moral Sigurado yung bulihok na yung volunteer. Ang bulihok pag yan po ng itap pero mas maayo ito yung volunteer kaya at least na yung willingness to 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 do the work ba? Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Kanabang kasing-kasing yun. Naas kasing-kasing oh, yun nila nga mo. Kasing-kasing ka lago na huna at tayo batikulo na upan pa. Ma'am Arlene? Yes. Okay kayo. Oo. Oh. Okay kayo. Okay kayo. Okay, okay, kayo. Kayo. Ah, ang mga EPSS ang kabaluan na kung kinsa ang ilang but then uh, I agree with Ma'am Connie mas nindot ang naay nag-volunteer okay para ito sa DLP bitaw ba? ang commitment Ana oh, si- nga, sila yun natin ipasulat yeah so welcome na to ang tanan and especially even even koan other learning areas atong buhatan hinihinayan na so oh, they- ma'am, ako lang siguro i-announce sa ato mga teachers For those who are willing to be a, a module writer, please message our education program supervisors for, let me start for Araling Panlipunan. Uh, our, super, our EPS for Araling Panlipunan is Sir Angelito Barazona, Dr. Barazona. I-PM lang siya sa Facebook, no? Kay Antab, kay na mo answer. Sa mathematics, si Ma'am Lorraine Olavides. Okay, hindi ko kabalo kung naka-identify naman sila writers ha. Pero try to PM lang din para uh, to express your willingness to to be to be to become a writer, to be part of this endeavor. And then for English si Ma'am Eva, for science si Ma'am Belen Bastiliada, for MAPE si Sir Ruben Tabar. Kini MAPE daghan-daghan yung writers kinang nanood kay music, arts, physical education and health. For EPP at TLE, we have Sir Tata Bios. And then for Filipino, Mabunisa Maba. For ESP, uh, Education sa Pagpapakatao, si Sir, si Dr. Berlia Gonzalo. For MTB, MLE, Kindergarten, si uh, Dr. Uh, Marifi Bicoy. Uh, Napakoy na limitan. Wala naman siguro, kaya naman siguro nakotan na. Dahil ka buok, ako na mention. Wala ko na limitan no? Hello, hello. Uh, Nagpuan po, nagnangotana, what time po ang Kautobi tomorrow? Si Ma'am Tarhata Muhammad. Unsang oras na magsugod sa Kautobi, Ugma, Ma'am Kone? Same time lang siguro, o sa ba? Same time, 1pm, gihapon. Or, what's up, ato, oh, are okay, we going to... Mo continue, sir, mag- sir, sir. Yes. What's up, ato, ba, parihaon na to sa English nga... Output, ana? Yes, uh, oh, oh, oh nagyapo yung output. Nagyapo yung output. Nagyapo yung output. Out- If that is the case, we'll start in the morning. Mga bisang mga 10 lang siguro. 10 lang. 10 a.m. Ah, sige, sige. And ah, then... ay, pa, ay, kanyang ta, Sir Flor, ha? Ah. Ma'am, Ma'am Kiging Bicoy, 10. Naiwiling mahimong writer-director, si Elba May Angeles Fabricante. Kinder siya nga kuan. You have preferred nga kuan. Area. Mingon. Okay, Naan po yung ningon dari si Ma'am... Ma'am Merna Erispi, nga siya, congrats Ma'am Arlene Carbonera, God bless you always. Dayon, si Ma'am Ami Akaso, mingon po, thank you very much Ma'am Arlene. Okay kayo ang webinar. Thank you po Ma'am. Salamat. Thank you very much. Then si Ma'am Casimira Duhig, wala jud ko ka-attendance. Agoy. Sagi lang Ma'am, extended ang atong attendance up to 10pm karong gabi eh, no? For this day, ang ato attendance, ato i-open hantod alas 10 sa gabi eh. 
Certificates. How about their certificate? Ah, uh, makuha nila ang certificates, ma'am, after the kum- makomplete nato ang training. And then, makakomplete nila ang mga requirements. One of the requirements is, of course, the output. And then, katong atong gikuan nga survey, nga atong i-float. Kung mahuman nating sa survey, atong i-float. And then, we hope all schools mo participate ani nga survey kay we need the data. Uh, kabalota sa sitwasyon nato karon uh, na ata sa planning stage para sa preparation nato para sa opening sa classes and then we need the data para kabaluta kung sa atong buhaton kay lisod kayo o maabot na ang time and then ayak pata mga kuratan nga un- unsaom namo ni nga ingani naman di ang sitwasyon so we hope ma- mo asi- mo tabang ato mga schools para makomplete nato ang data uh, amo ang paningkamutan nga ma-float namo karon yung adlawa para kung mahimo ma fill up na dayon Ma'am Arlene? Yes. Okay, sige. Thank you, Kaayo, sa tanan. Uh, yes, wala na silang i- na si SDS. Uh, na si Sir. Akong kanon si Sir Tawagon? Or na ang gusto siya yung gitrabaho? <laughs> na po siya yung gitrabaho dito? Pwede na po agma si Sir. Agma na lang, no? Oh, oh, sige, ah, sige. Agma. Uh-uh. So, it's one, cool, it's okay. Okay, once again, salamat sa atong mga participants, sa atong mga Buutan nga mga participants nga naghago og atubang nato hangtod karong orasa og salamat sad kang Ma'am Kone nga nilahutay gyud og istorya bahala nagkalisod na Ma'am Kone and then og ma Ma'am Kone balik ya punta para uh, magpadayon ta sa atong mga buluhaton uh, Ma'am Arlene ayaw taon wig biyae What do you mean by ayong bay? Kuan ni gyud mi kanang Bantay gyud ni hantod ogma. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kain ginahanglan mi sa inyong mga suporta. Thank you kaayo once again. Salamat, salamat, salamat. Please, please. Bye. Bye. Uh, sige, thank you, thank you. Thank you kay mga Igson. Thank you. Uh, ang soft copy day tuod sa mga presentation ni Ma'am Kone after sa training nato. makuha ninyo na dito sa attendance nga site so dili ta mag-all makuha na to na tanan salamat again <laughs>